you know, <laughs> damn, I'm, for me right now, I'm just, um, first I want to say good afternoon to all of y'all. How y'all doing? Good afternoon, y'all. Good afternoon. But I was just looking at this number up here at the top, and it's just so crazy, like, how when I'm talking about God, I'm talking about something else. I never see this many following. When I'm talking to people about saving their lives and stuff, I, I never see this many people in my life. It's crazy. Are we seeing this number? Well, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to let everybody get in here first. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to sit here patiently. And I'm going to let everybody who's trying to join, I'm going to let y'all get on here. Because I see this. This some shit I ain't know. I don't really see this too much. Is that 5,200 people? 53? I don't really see that over here like that. Thank you. I don't see this many people in my room. Is this real? Oh, not 5,000 people. Not 55. I see. It is so crazy how we some nosy motherfuckers, ain't we? <laughs> we as a people is a nosy as a motherfucker. I, including me. Hey, I'm nosy too. I fall short because I'm nosy too. But we some nosy human beings, amen. We are nosy. I mean, nobody. we all fall short for that, amen. We all fall short for being nosy. You see this? Somebody said don't talk to 10K gear. You think 10K finna come over here? Wait a minute. I, I No. Now, now, Shy, we don't have this many people on this live, Shy. Now, you come on with it. Now, we don't have no... We don't have no 6,000 people on this live? They told me don't talk till we get to 10K. Them people said don't talk till we get to 10K. I'm just scared because I've never clicked on a live, you understand me? Never and seen... This many individuals. Well, I just want to say, hey, how y'all doing today? Hey to all you beautiful people. How y'all doing? I'm happy y'all here. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How are y'all doing today? Amen. Are y'all having a good day? How y'all doing? Are we done coming in this live? Because, you know, this is going to break the goddamn record right here. 6,300 people in my little life. Little nothing ass to me. I don't believe it. I just don't believe this shit. This is crazy, okay? Well, I gotta know I like to make people laugh, amen. And um, I came on here today to talk. And I'm gonna start talking now. I know you guys are probably having your screen recorders on. You can turn your screen recorders on. Because that's what y'all gonna do anyway. I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, you hear what you wanna hear and you flip it around and that's okay, I understand. Um, today, I'm here to tell my truth, okay? My name is Shekana Joe Ida Anderson. My birth name is Shekana Joe Ida Anderson. I'm 36 years old, and I'm from I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, amen. And um, I'm a cosmetologist first. Um, I always want to do hell, y'all already know that, and I'm a cosmetologist first. Um, and there's a situation going on, and I just want to speak on it, okay? Now... First, this is what I want to say to all the women. I have been in an abusive relationship before. So, therefore, I love women. Okay? Like, I'm a hairstylist, like I just told y'all. And I deal with women all day, every day. Okay? So, there's no way Shekana is going against women. That's one. Okay? Have no reason to. I love y'all girls, believe it or not. She, we all girls, right? And we all go through a lot, right? So I'm never against women. Y'all need to understand. And for people who watch me all the time, you should know that, okay? Now, I'm not going to let nobody use me. I've got to the point now that I don't do free shout-outs. If you want a shout-out, you have to pay me because at the end of the day, you know, no one, you know, really did it for me. When I say no one did it for me, I mean I worked for everything I have. I didn't just sit on the Instagram and run my mouth, and I didn't just sit in public and pimp people, okay? Now, let's do why. So, let's go down memory lane. Let's go down to when I first um, met Tiny. I met Tiny through a friend of mine. Her name is Vanity, okay? Vanity. That's how I met Tiny. 
good friend of mine named Vanity. And um, we met about 11 and a half years ago. Okay? Now, when I met Tiny, I came and met her from doing her hair. I was a hairstylist. And we weren't friends at first. We was just doing, I did her hair. She did my hair. And this was the way that life went, you know? But I always came in working. Okay? I never asked anyone to give me anything. I never asked for any of that shit. I would go to work. I would do hair and go take my ass home. Okay? Because that's what I did. Me and her ended up, um, you know, of course, getting a bun in the mist. Now, when I was became Tamika's friend, her and Sabrina, they were not friends. I'm going to say it again. When I became Tiny's friend, Sabrina and Tiny were not friends. Okay? I came in the midst of... They had stopped being friends for a long time, I think. Like, two or three years. Okay? So, however, I'm coming here to say this to you guys. Because they had stopped being friends two or three years ago. Have nothing to do with me. This isn't about damage control. And if you're here for whatever you're here for, you can leave. Because I'm not here in a negative light. I'm not here being negative to none of the situations. I'm here to speak my piece. I don't want to turn off the comments. You can read them. I'm not even reading them anymore. I'm going to just look at this camera. I'm going to look at myself and continue to talk. Okay? So, like I said, when I met Miss Harris, me, her, and Sabrina were not friends. I didn't even know her. Okay? I knew of her through a friend named Willie. Willie does hair as well. Okay? Willie's in the industry as well. Okay? So, Babe, so, like I said right now, Willie was in the industry as well, okay? And um, once I found out who this lady was, just hearing about her, because she had started making rumors about me back then. She said, um, you know, Tiny's out here dealing with this broke, bum-ass bitch doing her hair, who this hoe is. So I'm hearing the rumors about what she's saying about me. It got back to me, and um, I asked, I asked Willie, who is this girl? And he said, oh, this is just my friend, whatever, 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 okay? Life goes on. A couple years pass on down. And she's back harassing me, see? And I didn't know her. Mm -mm, I didn't know her. I just knew I was tiny friend. Me and her never hung out. So what she said to you was the truth, see? I was not around. Me, her, and tiny have never been this. It always been like me and Tiny. It never been me, her, and Tiny. This is what y'all need to understand. So I never was a friend to her. I never owe her anything. I never knew her. Okay? Yeah. Um, after this, she would um, make out rumors about me and do all kind of evil stuff to me. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? I don't even know her. And I'm younger than her. I'm younger than Tiny. I'm younger than her. They're older than me. So I didn't understand why would this grown woman keep trying to attack me in every way because I'm only doing this girl's hair. No, stop. You stop speaking on it. I'm going to speak my piece and I'm going to speak it today and then I'm not ever speaking on it again. Okay? So, after um that, you know, a couple more years went down and she went to try to buy my name. I don't know if you all ever had somebody try to buy your name. I don't know if you know what that feel like. Like somebody just trying to fuck with you for nothing. You like, what the fuck is wrong? I ain't did nothing to this girl and she trying to buy my goddamn name. Why is she harassing me? I ain't did nothing to her. I don't even know her. Okay? It's not going to end bad for me. This going to end blessings for me. So, Willie allegedly used to tell me stuff about her. Okay? And what Willie used to say to me, he used to be like, you know, she this person, she that person, she this person, she that person. So yesterday, when I said what I said on the live, okay, I was speaking out of hurt. I was just saying what she was saying about somebody else or letting somebody else. I was just only saying that back to her. That had nothing to do with none of the rest of the women. I was really aiming that back to her because I feel like she's psychotic. That's my opinion. Because I would never go and attack nobody and buy their goddamn name. If I'm down with women, I'm down with women. I'm going to try to help you by your name, not go by your name. I had to spend $5,000, you guys, to pay for an attorney and buy my name, my government name. My government name is Shekana Joe Ida Anderson. She tried to go by Shekana Joe. She got on this internet. She threatened me. She told me she's going to kick my ass, beat me up. I hadn't did nothing to this girl. I didn't even understand where the store was coming from. I'm like, why is this lady so mad at me? I ain't did nothing to her. Okay. 
<clears throat> so what I'm saying to y'all is, a, I, a friend of mine, Willie, told me that Sabrina would go and get women for her and her boyfriend, Patrick. So I was just saying to her, like, damn, all this stuff you saying, you allegedly, you do it too, right? But I'm not condoning none of it, okay? Let me tell you about me, okay? I don't know Tiny for being this person that people are speaking on. And this is on my life. I don't know her in that light, you know? And it brings tears to my because I don't know her for, I don't have threesomes, okay? Me, Shekana, she don't have threesomes. I'm a real Christian and I can't judge nobody for what they do, but I don't have threesomes. I don't believe in a woman coming in my bedroom. It's not what I believe in. So, for you to even put me in that, okay? Sending out fake allegations saying that I recruit girls, not me. I don't believe in that. I don't have anything to do with that. And the girl that I know, we go get shit. We go to the mall. We go shopping. We go eat together. We play with her kids together. And I do her hair. I don't know nothing about that lifestyle. Whatever y'all got going on, because that's not me. Okay? Like, I don't have threesomes. I don't fuck my man with nobody. I'm standing on what I am. I don't get in them rims with people. So anybody saying that I'm recruiting, I don't know her in that life, so I could never recruit you. Because I don't know my friend in that life to recruit you for her. Because she don't talk to me about that kind of stuff. We are like sisters, like, we talking about, like, money and how to make things happen. We're not talking about women and how to go find a woman and what to do this, because that's not what I'm on. Okay, so, I don't know anything, because that's a hurting thing for a woman to say that, I tried to pick you up, bitch, I have never tried to pick none of you bitches up. I don't fuck with women, I'm not gay. I don't want to eat no pussy. I don't even suck dick. So how could you put that shit on me? No, I'm not full of shit your mama was, bitch. I don't fuck women. Eating nothing a woman can't do for me, my man can't do. So I don't have to lay back and get fucked by no woman. I like I like a man to hit me. Because anything a man can, uh, my man can have or sex with me, my man can do all the things I need. And I don't need another woman in my room to make that, to validate me. And I, and I'm not judging anybody. I said me. Now I'm crying because it's hurtful that, you know, this woman would sit on here and make y'all believe that she for the women. You see, if I for a woman, I'm trying to help women for real. I help women. Big difference. I don't sit up here and try to bring people down. Big difference. If somebody to come in saying something to me out the way, you damn right I would cuss you out because you violating me. But I don't believe in bringing women down. I stand for women. My goddamn grandma was an independent, I mean a woman that was handling her business self-made. She didn't teach me that. And I'm not going to let you all make me out of that because that's not who I am. I sit on my live all the time and I let y'all know I don't have threesome. I don't fuck around. I wasn't raised that way. And I ain't here to judge nobody. But what y'all ain't gonna do is pull me in some shit that I ain't got nothing to do with. I don't know Sabrina and Tiny in their friendship because when they, they weren't friends when I came around. I cannot say that Sabrina recruited nobody for them because I don't fucking know. I know that because Willie said that shit. I'm crying because it's hurtful, friend, buddy. I... Heard what Willie said. Willie, her friend. He said she recruit hoes. I don't know. I don't know her. She told y'all in the post that I don't know her. How the fuck could a wannabe, a wannabe person speak on them when I didn't know her, okay? And I'm not in nothing. And I just cleared my name. For all you miserable people who want to keep attaching me to it, and that's what you do. But I'm not in a goddamn thing, okay? I've never, ever, 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 ever seen nobody in that type of light because me and tiny don't have that friendship i'm sorry we don't you know i don't even go to the club like that and when i did go to the club i go to the club and i have a good time and i go home i don't take nobody home with me these people ain't getting to me it just hurt it hurt that 
Somebody who tried to buy my name. Somebody who ain't did shit but slandered me. I mean, slandered the fuck out of me, amen. Slandered me. Y'all watch her slander me. All y'all seen this girl try to buy my name. All y'all seen this girl make up lies on me. All y'all seen that. And yesterday, when I seen her coming for her best friend, when I seen the shit she was saying about her best friend, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with her? This girl's supposed to be your best friend. See? This how you doing your best friend. But you did the same shit to me, so I didn't know if she was lying or telling the truth. Because I know she lied on me. I know she tried to buy my name and took me through hell. Y'all don't know what I was going through when I had to spend $5,000 to buy my name back from a bitch who never even deserved my fucking name. Yes. And when my grandmama died, y'all know what that bitch did. That bitch, that bitch texted me on Instagram and she said, I'm sorry about your grandmama dying. But if you need me, I'm here for you. I'm going to call away. What type of crazy shit is that? But when she thought I was weak, but when she didn't know I was strong, and what she didn't know is my grandmama in a better place, and I would never have to come to you to crawl on your shoulder because I know you don't love nobody. And I hope you watching me. And I hope all these women that you're trying to help, you don't steal their identity. You don't rob them out their joy. Because you robbed me out my joy. And I don't even fucking know you. All I did was, was tiny friend. All I did was her hairstylist. And bitch, you drugged me. Bitch, you drugged me through the fucking mud. And you didn't even know me. You talked about me. You talked about how hood I was. You the one put out all these goddamn rumors where people feel like they can just scream about me. It was you. When y'all done doing what y'all doing, go on YouTube. Put it in Shekana. Watch how she attached herself to me first. She got mad at me one time, y'all. Call my phone because all y'all know Perez, right? All y'all know Perez, right? Perez is my friend. She got cool with Perez, but called me and said, you got all these motherfucking followers and you giving them to this punk ass nigga like I was her hoe. I said, Sabrina, I mean, Perez, my friend, I hang with him every day. What you mean? You keep shouting this motherfucking nigga out. You need me shouting out a real bitch. And I'm like, wait a minute. Next thing I know, huh, Perez got cool. Next thing I know, all type of shit started happening in Perez's life. Perez's mama got sick. All type of shit started going on. Y'all don't want me to come on with it now. Y'all don't really want to hear about her. Whatever she exposing on that side. But do y'all want to hear about exposing that side? But you know what? It's not my job to expose her. It's my job to let her be. It's my job to tell her. I'm going to pray for you, Sabrina. I'm going to pray for you, Sabrina, because I know what you did to me. And bitch, you hurt me. You hurt me because I didn't even know you. You hurt me. You tried to buy my name. You tried to assassinate my character. You told people that I had to pay you half of my business. You knew what you were doing. So yesterday, I spoke out of anger. I shouldn't have did that because I don't even know this lady. I just know she been harassing me forever. And I'm not coming back on live for a minute because I'm just not. I'm done with y'all and what y'all feel and what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I was a bad woman before. I'm not standing on nothing, but I'm not standing on what she on. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed.